how much time should I spend every day for improving my English communication? This is the question which is most frequently asked in my online sessions. Well, what is the answer for this? And the answer is, this is a wrong question actually. In fact, this question is wrong actually. Now, why, why students ask this question, I'll tell you. The reason behind this is, they think that improving English communication, the fluency, the confidence is like a course. Now, what do we do is, see here, we come from an educational background, education system where we have exams and for that exams we have to study. Okay, so what do we think? Okay, to get 80%, how much I have to study? Every day, two hours. Okay, fine. So I will study that. The same mindset we bring here. To speak fluently, how much time daily I have to give? That is what we think and this is the mistake. Because language is not like a course. Language is not like any exam which has any syllabus, which has few chapters, which you have to cram it, wrote, learn it, and then go and speak it. <laughs> or I will say, vomit it. It's not like that. Language is a continuous and never-ending process, evolving process it is. Try to understand this point. This is very important. Okay, is this clear with you? Now, wait, I'll tell you how exactly to deal with this. Now, see here. To develop your fluency, if you are my student, if you are my subscriber, I have always told that it's not the time, it's the lifestyle. Lifestyle. What I want to say is this. See here, when you get up in the morning, till you go to bed. In this around, let us say, around uh, 16 hours, 8 hours you sleep. How much English you consume? How much English you consume? Number one. And for how many months and years you consume? Months and years. See here, what I said. I repeat again. How much time every day you consume English? And how long you consume English? Getting my point? How long means what? Not months, but years. Your ability to speak fluently, your ability to frame better sentences depends upon your consumption. And consumption in the sense daily how many hours and for how long you do it. Now, this does not have any time limit. It's like every day, three hours. No, it's not like that. See, what I'm trying to say is, it English should be a part of your everyday routine. When I say consume, means what? Consumption is in two ways. Inward consumption and outward consumption. Inward consumption means you consume English through your eyes and through your ears. That means from reading and from listening. Reading, already have made some videos about reading and listening podcast and audiobooks that is listening so inward consumption and now outward consumption you should be able to use english not be able to but you should use english if you use english then you will be able to use if you use then only you will be able to use so outward consumption means you should be able to speak more and more and you should write more and more inward to that is reading and listening outward to that is speaking another thing is writing you're getting my point okay so this is about consumption and when you consume english inward and outward every day for whatever time you want but you have to consume it means what it's not like every day you have to read for three hours no but you have to read it can be 10 minutes it can be half an hour it can be one hour it will change every day it is not permanent it can be 30 minutes it can be 40 minutes but one thing you can keep it keep the limit of 30 minutes okay that is a fixed limit now in a in a situation where you can't read at all can you read for 10 minutes can you read for 10 minutes yeah great sometimes can you read for one hour two hours sometimes maybe on sunday it's possible do that now for listening a podcast there is no time limit. There is no like a, a half an hour or 45 minutes. No. Whenever you get time, do that. It's called as time pockets. What is time pocket? Whenever I get, for example, even five minutes also, if I get a time, I plug into my audiobook or my podcast. And I don't calculate my time. How much time I'm listening my podcast? No. Now speaking, whenever I get a chance, I speak. There is no time limit for that. For writing, whenever I get a chance, I type my messages in English. Everything is in English as more as possible. So, 
this is what I wanted to tell you is do not think about how much time I have to give. Think about how can I change my lifestyle and how can I bring English into my daily use. Getting my point? English should be consumed every day in the form of, as I said before, I'll repeat again, reading and listening and English should be consumed that is expressed in the form of speaking and writing. And if you can do that without putting any time limits and if English, when English becomes a part of your life every day, but most important thing, you should have a surrounding for speaking. Otherwise, all these things are of no use. Well, I have a solution for that. If you join my online sessions, you will get the surrounding. If you have a surrounding already, then no problem. But if you want proper surrounding, discipline, properly, proper attention of a teacher, I will be there to guide you. You can join my online sessions. But, but don't keep any time limit. Getting my point? So the question, how much time I need to give is an invalid question. Don't ask this question. Hope you got my answer, okay? Come on, friends. Make English as a part of your life. Make English as something which is normal. Make English is daily. It should be part of your routine every day. It must be scattered in your day. Okay? And for that, go and get engaged. Go and have a nice plan, a nice schedule, a nice routine for every day. My best wishes. Come on, work and forget the time and focus on enjoying the process. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.